Hey, what's up everybody? I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, so today, I'm gonna finally do my radiator support. Um, I've recently hit a curb. I was not trying to be DK. Uh, I was just on my break and I just happened to hit a turn by my job and it was really wet and my brake started bouncing so I couldn't really do anything. But honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Uh, the stuff that was uh, damaged was already damaged before, like the radiator support, windshield fluid, uh, bottle got crushed but the heat expanded it back to its form so that's all right and right after i do this video for the radiator support i'm going to be installing my new bumper from kbd i believe it's the n3r a while ago i did install it but it kept touching the ground because of the radiator support and it was broken in the bottom so every time i went uh fast it kept eating up the lip so i called up KBD and um, they helped me out so shout out to them uh, I'm gonna show you guys right now the radiator support pieces that I got and also I'm gonna take out the bumper right now and uh, put it in the sun so it can expand here's the stock radiator I got um, actually bought it with the hoses so that's pretty cool by the way the only reason why I didn't get an aftermarket radiator you know, the thicker ones than the stock, obviously uh, it's gonna be better, but um, I need to go to work. And Amazon, I don't know why, but it said it was gonna get here on Saturday, but then it said on Monday. And I've been wasting money on lifts and it's not cheap. So I'd rather just put a stock radiator and then later on the line, if I wanna put a aftermarket one, then I will. But for right now, I guess that'll do. All right guys, so here's the radiator support. And then I have the bash bar. Uh, supports I guess you can call them uh, and then I have the bumper support and this long piece which I believe goes on on the radiator anyways I'm gonna uh, go see how I can jack up my car because where I live it's just horrible to jack up a car especially because I live in a hill and there's grass so once I have the car jacked up and everything I'll hit you guys back up Alright guys, so I'm right here, we jacked it up. It's not in the best spot, but it'll do. It's because my driveway is a little funky. But, um, my brother's gonna start taking off the headlights. I'm gonna just start transferring everything from the support to the new one. And, uh, we do need to change the radiator, so... It's gonna be a long one. I'm not gonna explain how to do this. I'm gonna drop a link in the bio to show how to do it from somebody else. We got the radiator support out. I uh, basically just transferred all the bolts and attachments to this new one, but most we could. Even if it didn't have a thread, we just kind of laid it on top. Uh, as of this moment, we're going to take out the power steam hoses and then uh, put some... I'm bringing a bucket right now so we can not spill it on the ground. And then we have to flush the radiator. So after I flush everything, I'll be right back to see what I'm going to do next. Okay, so we got the old radiator support out. Uh, I think the hardest part was just to take out those power steering lines through this little hole right here. Uh, you could either just break the radiator support itself or try to squeeze it out like we did. I just tried to squeeze it out just because I didn't want it to smash the hell out of it. But right now we're gonna drain the radiator and try to take out the AC condenser too. So I'll be right back. All right, so we put the radiator with the new eight with the old ac condenser attached together uh, it took a minute because my radiator that the guy gave me is a little different from the one i had but it still fit perfectly fine now we just got to put the radiator support and then add the fruits Start moving the wheels Zero. side to side. It's gonna suck it up. It's somewhere around you, the bleeding valve. All right, guys. So basically, we just got at a junkyard that I uh, uh, previously got my radiator and the support 
uh, for some reason, the radiator, uh, the outlet, it broke off for some reason. I don't know if, if it was just too much pressure and then we were squeezing the hose and it exploded. I really don't know what happened, but right now we got a, another radiator. This one is also used, but it's way newer. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. It looks way better than the other one. I'm going to do a, a comparison. Um, I still don't know why there's two extra hoses in the bottom because on my first radiator that I broke, uh, it didn't have those uh, outlets. I'm just going to put a nipple over them, but uh, I'm about to get back to the house and then change the radiator and then do everything again with the bleeding and then see if it's running good again. So we got the new radiator right here. Let me show you right here. This one's in a lot better condition. Um, it still has these hoses right here. I don't know what they're for. Um, on the original radiator I had, it didn't, they didn't have them. So I'm gonna just plug nipples on them like the other one. And then I'm actually gonna use this hose and then I'll uh, take out this hose and use the one that's in the car. This is the one that was giving me problems, so I'm going to just leave it as is and then plug it up right here. So when we take out the radiator and then put this one, I'll be right back so we can start the bleeding process. Okay, so we went back to the auto parts store because the new radiator that I just uh, got right now didn't have a drain plug on it, so I had to go buy one. I really don't know if this is the right one for it. I think the guy gave me like another year uh, radiator, but it is for a 350. But f me, it didn't have a drain plug. Let's see if it fits. I'll let you guys know. All right, so the new drain plug is in. And now we just need to do the adding and bleeding and it will be next. Hey, I'm back. So I got the Z running right now. Uh, I got it idling uh, almost at regular temperature. And I've looked at a videos on YouTube because it looks like um, this happens very often when you work on your cooling. Uh, you get air bubbles and some air bubbles just don't want to come out. And I think that's what's happening because it's overheating and everything's working. The fan's working. Um, right now I was going to, I was going to do what they told me to do which is turn up your heat all the way up and that should help uh, turn, uh, I should tell the thermostat to open and help you out so let's go outside something uh, it's a little too late for it's like eight but you know I'm gonna start revving this shit uh, I'm very sorry neighbors I uh, kind of have to get this done so so I'm gonna do that to get all the air bubbles out just to make sure like two more times and then I'm gonna see what happens and hopefully it doesn't overheat and the thermostat opens up so the last thing right now, since we got it all dialed down, I'm gonna put the bash bar because I need to go to work and I think, I think they might stop me if I don't have it. But as soon as I put this on, I'm gonna go for a test drive and then I'll be right back. Hey, what's up guys? So it's Monday, um, it's around like nine o'clock. I did work on the Z today. Uh, I really thought it was a thermostat for a minute because um, it started overheating uh, yesterday night after the test drive. I didn't know why, but I saw, I looked it up online and it looks like VQs, uh, it's just really hard to get all that air out. So I just put everything back like it was supposed to and then parked it on a hill without jack stand. I just parked it on my hill because it's just steep enough. And then like I did before, I put the tank on the hood latch uh, method and then zip tied it not best method but that worked and then I added a good bit of uh, coolant and then I started revving my engine to 3000 rpm uh, I, I did it around like six to eight times uh, spread apart 
but it seems like that got all the air bubbles out so the car is not overheating everything is running good all right guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and i have a bunch of more videos that i'm going to be putting out so make sure to stay tuned for that see you guys later Brandon, it's beautiful. Brandon, it's beautiful. Brandon, it's beautiful.